What's up guys, Fricon here, and welcome back to some good old Call of Duty gameplay. Um, I'm not going to be talking too much about the gameplay, but I use the SVG quite a bit in this. I think I'm going to upload two games of Havoc and Nuketown. But what I want to talk about in this video was definitely the supply drops and the, the rare supply drops, the whole COD points, the whole MP40 being brought back in the game, the whole Treyarch promising us that the supply drops would carry only cosmetic weapons or items not actual weapons that changed the game now this was like when the, when the supply drops first came out I was like okay this is cool you know you get to play you get to earn some crypto keys you get a little roll in the gamble you get to go to like the little as Thunder Toro calls it the COD casino <laughs> the COD casino you get to go to the COD casino and spend your crypto keys on you might get something cool like a purple helmet for your ruin or something like that but then they added the MX Grin, and then I was like, what the fuck? What? Like, melee skins is one thing. I, I could understand that. The sword doesn't change the gameplay. The sword is basically a combat knife. I mean, I think the combat knife is a little better since you don't really get to... It's not going to obstruct your view as much as the sword does, but I digress. Now, the weapons coming out, this kind of pissed me off because first, when, when a company promises its consumer something and then does the other... Does the exact opposite. When Treyarch promises that it's going to be cosmetic only, but then they release World War II semi-auto two-shot kill with fast fire rate. If you add a suppressor to the MX Gren, it only rate reduces the range by 25% instead of 75%. It's way better than the Shiva. This thing, it's just so good. It's not, okay, yeah, it has that annoying reload thing, but what you'll adjust to it. Eight bullets is enough to kill theoretically four people or eight people if you have high caliber and you're really good at getting headshots but most likely you're going to get two or three people and it's not that bad reloading put, put fast hands on it or not fast hands what the fuck is it called the fucking the fast mags yeah the fast mags or extended mags or whatnot now that that happened i, I was pissed off and i mean i got the crossbow from using crypto keys but you know i didn't want that Crossbow's cool and all, but I wanted the MX Grind, and it's, it's just ridiculous, dude. And then the second wave comes out, I think like three days ago, the HG-40, the MP-40, my favorite weapon in World at War, and they put in the supply drops. I mean, I understand that they're a business and they're making money, but when businesses lie, man, oh, that shit blows my mind, man. It seriously does. Why not just let us buy? I would buy the HG-40 for 10 bucks. I'd do it. Totally worth it. It's an amazing weapon. It's it's got a lot of history in that. I would buy the MX Grand for ten bucks. That that's and the and the Marshall. So you get Activision. Look, you get thirty dollars for me just like that. But they're abusing the psych of the human mind about gambling, man. And it's ridiculous. And I'm gonna go towards how gambling hurts people. This and that. But first, it's just it's you're not guaranteed a weapon. I think Drifter made a video that it's guaranteed not guaranteed it's theoretically like statistically fifty dollars per weapon on supply drops on purchasing cod points after you know the duplicates after uh doing like getting the crypto keys back on average is fifty dollars per weapon now that's fucking ridiculous dude who the fuck would spend fifty dollars on a weapon if they gave you that option who the fuck in the right mind but no they do it by the chance and they say they got through the loophole of pay to win because, oh, you can play um, games all day and get crypto keys. You know, just sacrifice 16 hours every single day to compete with everyone who buys COD points. Yeah, that's not too much, right? Spend 16 hours of your day to get like 32 or, no, that's 16 hours. That's eight supply drops right there because every two hours you'll be getting one rare supply drop. That's fucking ridiculous, dude. What the fuck? This shit pisses me off, dude. Call of Duty, it used to be about you ranked up, you earned shit, and you got it. Or if there was a DLC for season pass holders, and now that's another fucking rant. I spent $50 on the season pass, and this shit, this shit, I get zero weapons from it. I just get some bullshit maps. Fucking Awakening sucks. The zombies map was good, but Rise, that shit it was, it was okay. Gauntlet sucks ass. Skyjacked, it does not play as it did in Black Ops 2. And Nuketown, that thing was free. Nuketown is fucking shit, dude. 
This this really pisses me off. Black Ops 3 has such good potential, but then fucking money hoarders, dude, who abuse the human psyche, who abuse the gambling system, do this shit. It's fucking ridiculous. Now to my gambling rant. Now just think about it. Let's say some, some kid, right? He's 12, 13 years old, which the majority of Call, Call of Duty players are actually under 18. You know, he comes home, all his friends got, oh, yo, I got the new MX Grand, this and that. He wants to fit in. He's going to go on. He's going to be like, damn, I don't have, I, I got homework to do. I can't play all day. So he's going to go to purchase COD points without his parents' permission, and then he's going to buy COD points. Now he's going to get right into the whole gambling scene, and he's going to spend hundreds of, not hundreds, that's exaggerating, but he's going to spend his parents' money. He doesn't know the value of money. And he's just going to spend it on these virtual weapons. And then his parents are going to be like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? This is just a video game. Sp stop spending $200 on a World War II weapon. What the fuck are you doing? Now, I'm not saying boycott COD. Don't buy COD anymore. This and that. Just, if you're going to buy COD, cool. If you're going to buy COD points, cool. If you're going to upload videos and do supply drop opening. You are part of the fucking problem. Seriously, quit that shit. I understand you get views, but think about it. Guys, I'm not gonna name any names, but the really big guys who do those big supply drop videos, they spend like $300 on COD points. Like what, I, I have no fucking idea why, but guess what, they make their money back. Through YouTube money, through Twitch money, through donations. They get, they get it all back, and they get their channel growth. So it's like an investment for free. You know what I mean? And it, it's just unfair. And l all those kids watching those videos think they have a shot. So they spend $20 on it. And then they support this bullshit marketing scheme. It's fucking bullshit. It's not flawed because it's obviously working. It's just fucking bullshit. I want new weapons. And I want to be guaranteed new weapons. I will pay money for that. But do I want this gambling system, dude? No. It's... F ah, damn, man. There's There should be... There is ethics in business, and you're exploiting Activision. Look, you're exploiting the gambling system through COD points, and you're going through a loophole by saying you can play and get crypto keys. I I don't know, man. This is just some shady shit. All I gotta say is, fuck those supply drop videos. Seriously, if you upload them, fuck you. And season pass holders should get at least one of the new weapons of their choice. People spend $120 on this game and the season pass. Meanwhile, every other Call of Duty got a new weapon guaranteed from if you bought the season pass or if you got the DLC. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? I'm out.